And ABC News chief medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is getting her first dose of the COVID vaccine this morning. As some doctors at the hospital where she performed surgeries already received it. Dr. Ashton is in the second group and she is sharing that experience with us. Good morning, Dr. Jen. Hey, Diane. Um, here it is proof of my vaccine dose number one. Um, I'm here at Englewood Health in Englewood, New Jersey. This is the hospital that I've been on staff at for 16 years. And um, I was eagerly and anxiously awaiting uh, my turn. I am in group two. So um, I got the notification last week that my group uh, was up and I immediately took the first available spot that was offered. Um, and I just feel incredibly fortunate. Um, I didn't realize until that needle was in my arm how much fear and concern I had suppressed all year um, as I continued to take care of patients and um, watch a lot of my friends and family uh, take care of ICU COVID patients. Um, but it was incredible. Um, interesting angle for me, Diane, I do have a history of severe allergic reaction. I have um, required emergency room care for an allergy to foods. Um, I spoke with my allergist last night uh, because yes, uh, doctors also have doctors. <laughs> we don't take care of ourselves. And he recommended that I pre-medicate with Zyrtec, which is a non-sedating antihistamine about an hour before. Um, obviously I have my EpiPens here. I put my history down on the questionnaire. So everyone here was aware there's paramedics here, um, not just for me, but for everyone. And we're monitored um, 15 minutes for everyone, for someone with a severe history of an allergic reaction, 30 minutes. I feel totally fine. Um, but I really want to explain how I made the decision for myself to get vaccinated. Um, it's risk versus risk. The risk of an allergic reaction right now, according to the CDC and the cases they've tracked, is about one in 45,000 doses. Um, my risk of COVID is way higher than that. Um, and if I were to get COVID, while I'm not particularly scared of dying of COVID um, because I don't have any of the big risk factors. I am concerned about being in the 10 to 30% of people who have residual long-term effects of COVID. Um, and so that to me made it an easy decision. Uh, the rare chance of an allergic reaction versus the much higher chance of getting COVID. Um, so I feel fine and um, I encourage anyone who has a history of an allergic reaction, speak with their allergist, their healthcare provider. Um, but so far, so good. And um, back to you, Diane. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. You know, so many people are, are toying with that decision themselves right now, and so many more will be in the future. So thank you for sharing that with us. Thanks for all the work you do with your patients and all the work you do to keep us informed. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.